Hey, thanks, Melinda. Chief Meteorologist Catherine Thompson here. It's been another kind of gloomy day across the two Virginias. It doesn't really feel like late spring or early summer. Summer officially begins this Saturday, and it certainly, again, doesn't feel like it. We've been cool, cloudy, and wet today. We're seeing some showers right now, and we're not done with the rain. Obviously, you're still seeing it falling there on our Southwest Virginia Community College camera, but we're not only talking about showers tonight. We're talking about showers coming back tomorrow, again into Thursday. It's going to be pretty wet through mid and late week. Thanks to this onshore flow, we're getting a lot of moisture off of the Atlantic Ocean. So we've had winds over the past few days pretty steadily coming out of the east or northeast. And that's why we've got all of this moisture. It continues to get tracked up, especially against our Appalachian Mountains, those eastern facing slopes. So if you're West of I-77, that air is coming down the other side of that mountain range, and that's why it's compressing, it's warming, it's drying out a little bit. So we're a little bit warmer. We're in the 60s out toward the coal fields, but where that air is just getting wedged up against our eastern-facing slopes, a lot of us have been stuck in the 50s all day today. So it's going to be 50s and 60s, really, the rest of this week. It just depends on which side of the viewing area you're on and what kind of mountains are around you, because that's really enhancing the cloud cover and moisture when we think about these upward uh, slopes, these uh, motions this moisture has to make. And we're still seeing, again, that steady stream of moisture coming in from the Atlantic. And over the next few days, that pattern is just not going to change. It's like someone turns on a hose, leaves it on. So we're going to see rounds of rain on and off over the next few days. Now, the good thing is we're not expecting anything severe because we are cooler. We've got more cloud cover. We don't have the heat to really get any good thunderstorms going. We could hear a rumble of thunder here and there, especially tomorrow, but it just doesn't look likely that we're going to see anything severe, which is good. Now, again, the flood risk, too, looks to stay more to our east, but I still think we could see isolated flooding issues, much like we've seen over the past few days in certain spots. It just depends on if a downpour sets up and dumps a lot of rain at one time. It could at least cause some short-term rapid rises in creeks and streams, and that's the kind of thing we'll be watching. We've got upper-level low pressure, too, that's kept us below average, that's kept us unsettled, but it breaks down by the weekend finally. So if you're wondering when we're going to get warmer and perhaps a little drier, at least we're going to see some uh, breaks of sun in between showers, it's going to be this weekend. And it's actually going to be right on time that that kind of warming and drying trend actually happens. Temperatures, again, are going to stay below average the next several days, but eventually we're pushing 80 again by the weekend. Summer officially starts on Saturday, and then Father's Day follows again on Sunday. Rain chances look lower. It's not going to be a completely dry weekend, but we do look drier, I guess I could say, and definitely warmer into Father's Day. Hey, stick with us. We'll be right back right after this break.